Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you this recipe that is cutting fish linguine. Thanks to Watson Party Fisheries in St. Paul's Bay for providing the fish and also organizing the home delivery. Over here on my left you will see the ingredients that we will need for this recipe and I'm going to go through it with you from A to Z to find the product. Okay guys, I really recommend that you ask the fishmonger to prepare and clean this process as it's too messy to prepare at home and let's face it, it's not that much fun. This recipe is for two portions, so boil 300 grams of linguine pasta in salt seasoned water and cook according to the recommended time in the packet. Or look up for our recipe of fresh pasta to make your own. Personally, I prefer good quality dried pasta. All we need to do is put them on a plate or on a dish. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna marinate them Okay, with a little bit of garlic and olive oil, okay, just a little bit more olive oil because I had some already with the garlic, a little bit of chili oil, whoever likes it, whoever doesn't like chili, don't put any chili, we put some salt, okay, fresh black pepper, Now we're going to leave it set over here for about five minutes before we put it on the grill. Now that we have the cuttlefish grilled and the linguine cuttlefish also ready, we're going to plate. What I'm doing is I'm going to chop lengthwise the cuttlefish that we grilled, put it on the bowl for, for now and we're going to use it as part of our dish over here. We have the cuttlefish linguine. There you go. And we're going to use the grill on the outside of it. A little bit of dried cherry tomatoes for garnish and off to our second recipe and for the second recipe we're going to use the leftover from the cut and fish and also the ink okay we're going to throw that into our thermomix if you guys don't have a thermomix at home uh, you can use a normal blender and blend this together. So, cuttlefish, a potato, we're gonna throw in chili. If 
you don't like it spicy, don't add it to, to it. A little bit of salt, one egg. Flour, or you could also use gluten-free flour. 50, milli, 50 grams. Um, we're going to put in two cloves of garlic and a little bit of ginger. Okay. I cut two pieces of ginger and go throw it in there. And I'm going to put it into our tank mix. Now after blending for about six minutes on medium speed and then higher it up at the end, um, uh, we have our mixture ready. And all we need to do is fry. And to finish off the recipe, we're going to, have, as you see over here, we have two types. One of them, I added a little bit more squid ink into the mixture. And you see more black and the other one um, a little bit less black, okay? But we're gonna mix them all in a bowl. Here I mixed some uh, black sesame seeds and uh, paprika, okay? And a little bit of lemon rind dried, okay? I'm gonna Mix it in it, a little bit of chili, if you like it spicy, if you don't, keep it out, all right? A little bit of salt, a dash of lemon, black pepper, a little toss in the bowl, and we will throw in some dried cherry tomatoes and we're ready to plate. Here we have our calamari rocks ready and a little bit of tomatoes there on the side. These were the two recipes that we prepared today. Cuttlefish linguine with grilled cuttlefish and cuttlefish rocks. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe.